This is Johnny Nelson and you're watching Sporting Icons. To follow on from a previous video a day or two ago where I did a video on Jonte Wilder's hands, his surgeries, the metal pins, all that kind of stuff. Now, I know many of you guys got it where I quite plainly said, I don't know if it's an advantage and I don't know if it's a disadvantage because I'm not a doctor. But as I predicted, a lot of people, especially some of the wilder nut huggers out there, they kind of reacted in a way of, it's okay to chastise Fury, it's okay to put him under the conspiracies, but it's not okay when it comes to their favourite fighter. That's their mentality. And some of them got quite butthurt about it. Some of them were saying, well, it's pretty obvious that if you have hand surgery and you've got metal pins in your hand, that it's not an advantage. These people are quite clearly doctors. Now, as I said before, I don't know because I'm not a surgeon, okay? I know a little bit about some surgeries of footballers who's had broken legs and all that kind of stuff and i've heard that once you have injuries repaired it's actually stronger after now i don't know if it's the same with the hand but with anything a lot of people are well it's pretty obvious well it's not obvious and some people know about this some people have said that they've had surgery and they've had metal pins and that in their hand and it is an advantage other people say that they've had hand surgeries and it's certainly not an advantage. So ultimately, we don't know. Now, people can say, but he hasn't replaced the knuckles. Again, I don't know if he's replaced the knuckles. I don't even know if there's an operation to replace knuckles. And the reason I don't know that is because I've never looked into it. Never felt the need to. You know what you know. You don't know what you don't know. It's as simple as that. For example... I know that Alan Shearer is the highest goal scorer for Newcastle United in the history. Many of you guys don't know that. Is it important that I know that? Not really. It's just that you know what you know and you don't know what you don't know. Duchenne, DMD, the charity that I support, is the most severe muscle wasting disease out there, incurable. I know that because I looked into that. Many of you guys won't know that. Point is, you know what you know, you don't know what you don't know. I never looked at Deontay Wilder's hands before, and the only reason that I did a video is because many people have been mentioning it for quite some time, so I did a bit of a video on it. People say that I should do the research. How much time do you think I've got in my hands to actually sit there, go through Google, article after article, to look on something, to read up on something about hand surgeries, which is for me personally, it's a tedious thing and I don't care. So I'm not really going to retain anything that I'm reading and that would take a hell of a long time. I'm not interested in taking a course on being a surgeon for injuries. Not interested in it. So all I can do is talk about boxing. I know about boxing. What I don't know is the operations of certain procedures. Why would I know that? Okay. Now people say, well, it doesn't even matter because at the end of the day, he's got gloves on. That's probably one of the most stupid things you could possibly say. It really is because gloves are not necessarily there to protect your opponent. They're there to protect your hand. And if you seem to think that it doesn't really matter what you've got inside that glove, then you've got to be absolutely mad. Fighters of the past have been known to be tampering with gloves. Fighters of the past have been known to put plaster of Paris around the knuckles. So if it's no advantage, then why do it? My point is, it's a very stupid argument. Now, we know that some Wilder fans, they want to sit there, they want to criticise Tyson Fury over something that happened 15, 16 months ago in the first fight with the gloves. That's being disproven. They don't like the fact that the California State Athletic Commission are doing nothing about it. Because to them, what they're seeing is what they want to see with the gloves. Even though it's not true. All right? You see what you want to see. Um, they come out with things like, the suit was too heavy for John Wilder's ring walk in the rematch. Wilder said that. Well, apparently Wilder said that. But again, it's just another excuse. They're blaming Mike Breland for throwing in the towel. Again, it is what it is. If a fighter's in trouble, your team is there to help you out, save you from unnecessary punishment. So all the conspiracies and Tyson Fury failing a UCAD test back in 2015 that UCAD never bothered to even tell Team Fury about until mid to late 2016, what's that got to do with 
Deontay Wilder getting battered in the rematch. So you can come out with all these ex um, excuses, but when somebody says something about Wilder, the fact that he hits on the back of the head, the fact that he has used numerous illegal tactics, that's a problem, but it's not a problem when you're criticizing Fury for something that happened way, way, way before. See, it's pretty daft. That's my point. Now, are Tyson Fury's tactics illegal? Yes. But so would Deontay Wilder's in many fights. So my point has always been, it's fine to criticize Fury for his tactics, that's fine. But at the same time, you, you only do what you can do and what you can get away with until the referee pulls you up about it. There's no point looking back and saying, well, well Tyson Fury, he had an issue with his gloves back on this fight and he had an issue with his gloves back on that fight. That doesn't mean that he did something in the rematch. Doesn't mean that whatsoever. So all the excuses, the conspiracies, it's fine to have them, but it's stupid. It's stupid. It's no more stupid than the hand for Deontay Wilder is an advantage. I don't know. And, and more importantly, you don't know either because you don't know the specifics of the surgery. Has he had multiple hand surgeries for multiple different injuries? Or has he had multiple hand surgeries for the same one? Maybe he's only got one metal rod in the back of his hand. Is that an advantage to him when he's punching an opponent? I don't know. More importantly, you don't know either. That was always my point, which is why I did the video. But as, as usual, some of the wilder, uneducated fans, they seem to think that they know everything. And they get butt hurt when somebody mentions something about Wilder because they want to make Wilder out to be this good boy scout. Okay? He's not. He really isn't. Look at his resume. It's full of absolute bums. But... If you're going to hold Fury to the flame for certain situations, when you should be holding Deontay Wilder to it as well. And there's nothing wrong with raising the question, has the State Athletic Commission, whether it be in New York, whether it be California, whether it be in Nevada, whether it be in Alabama, wherever the hell it may be, wherever it is that Deontay Wilder's fighting, do they have and have they studied the medical records? Maybe they have, and that's cool. Maybe it is a disadvantage to him. I don't know. But again, for people who are saying that, well, he was knocking out people before he had the hand surgery. Really? Well, he turned pro in November, so end of 2008, and he had surgery in 2009. So how many people was he exactly knocking out? And those people who he was knocking out were there to get knocked out. All right, so you can't say he's carrying the same power and it's a non-factor. You can't say that. You, again, you are reaching. People want to say that we are reaching about the hand surgery. Maybe, I don't know. It's just a question. I never once accused him of saying, of, of uh, having an advantage. Never once said that. But it is what it is. Anyway, drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.